Today we are making amazing apple ham pie. And this ham pie is actually not that difficult. It's quite simple and easy to make. So let's get started. Okay, so let's start from pie dough. When I make apple pie, sometimes I like to add cheddar cheese in my pie dough. It's not overpowering at all. It's just a hint of flavor. And freeze it once it's shredded. And prepare ice water and add all-purpose flour, sugar, and salt in a food processor. And cut butter into pieces. Make sure that your butter is very cold. And pulse them together until the butter is cut into very tiny pieces like the size of apple seeds. And here I always check and see if there is any big pieces. And by then my cheddar was frozen, so I'll break it down and you can easily make it flakes like this. Okay, next combine water and oil and add to the bowl and mix. So when I mix the flour and the liquids together, I always start by kind of loving the surface and flip, loving the surface and flip so that the liquids spread everywhere evenly. Next, I push the dough and flip and I continue doing that until the dough comes together. So if you need to, you can add additional one or two teaspoon of ice water. But at this point, you may feel that, oh, my dough is never gonna come together. It's not doughy at all. But don't worry, if you keep pushing well and flip, it'll eventually come together. My biggest advice to you is not to add additional water because if you add more water, flour creates more glutens and your pie crust is going to be extra crunchy. It's gonna lose the light flaky crunchness. Okay, so now before you roll, chew the dough for 30 minutes to a few hours or more. While we are waiting for that, let's work on the filling. Add all the ingredients to the bowl and as an option, add lemon zest to add the refreshing flavor. And cut apple into small pieces. So today I'm using Granny Smith's apples, but I personally like to mix up Granny Smith's and one more type of apple that is less tart and more soft, like Golden Delicious. It adds more depth and flavor, and I highly recommend doing so. Depending on what apples you use, you add just the amounts of lemon juice and sugar. Okay, so now let's roll the dough. Apply some bread flour on the working surface and to the dough itself, so that it's not gonna stick each other. And at this point, I just took out the dough from a fridge and the butter inside is very hard. So if I try to roll the dough right now, it easily cracks. So that's why I like to push, 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 push the dough first. And once I see that the dough is softened up, then I start rolling. Today, I like to make it very thin. And that's one of my biggest tips as well. When the clust is very thick, the texture is gonna really take over the filling and you can't really enjoy the filling and the clust together. Today I used the cake ring, but uh, you can also use a cookie cutter or even like the tout pan. and crack the pieces, roll again, and cut. You can use them as the bottom because they are a little bit messier. And at this point, if the dough is too soft, chill in the fridge again. 
and prepare your egg wash. Today I'm gonna use egg white so that the surface is not gonna be too dark. Mix sugar and cinnamon and prepare your cinnamon sugar ahead. Okay, so let's finish assembling them. Add the dried ingredients into the apples and mix. So as a tip, add the sugar right before you use because once you add the sugar, lots of liquid's gonna start coming out from the apples, but you want that juice in your filling because it adds the flavor and the sweetness. It's just a little bit harder to wrap tightly when I have to also pour the juice. So that's why I add the sugar right before I use, place it on top of the dough quickly, and just seal them quickly before the liquids start coming out too much. Apply good amount of egg white as a glue and warm up the surface of your pie dough if it's a little bit too firm so that you can wrap easier. Dust some flour so that you can move your pie easier and push the edge really well like this and completely seal the filling. And flip the edge over like this to really secure the edge so that the filling is not gonna come out. But still, sometimes the filling comes out as you bake. So I push the edge like that with the fork so that the filling is really, really not gonna come out. Here is the time you kind of uh, correct the shape and make it look a little bit prettier. And scoop it up with a dough scraper. All right, so to finish off, Apply more egg white all around the surface evenly and attach the apple decorations. And sprinkle the cinnamon sugar all around evenly. Don't hesitate to sprinkle a lot of the sugar because it's gonna add a very nice crunchiness and um, very present sweetness. Make some cuts on the surface like this so that the steam can get out from there. So by the time you finish wrapping all of this, the dough should be soft. And when you try to bake them in the oven right now, the butter spreads a little bit too much. You're gonna get the less flakiness. So that's why I always like to chill the dough in the fridge completely before I bake them. Bake at 375 Fahrenheit for about 35 minutes. You can store this ham pies in the fridge for up to about five days. Uh, simply warm it up in the oven with your favorite temperature. I usually do about 350 Fahrenheit or so for about 10 to 20 minutes and you can still enjoy the very crispy crust. Nice and crispy on the bottom. Mm. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please let me know and share it with your baking friends. Enjoy pastry living and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.